Hello and welcome once again to Karimbu, the new quiz show in town where we are testing our contestants on the strength of their knowledge of Ghana and Africa. And as usual, I want to start off with a segment called Once Upon a Time, where I take a random date and tell you about an event that happened on that day many years ago. Today, we're talking about January 7th, 1993. January 7th, 1993. On that day in history, Flight Lieutenant J.J. Rawlings, Head of State and Chairman of the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, became President J.J. Rawlings, President of Ghana and the beginning of the Fourth Republic. As Head of State, and chairman of the PNDC, he had contested elections as flag bearer for the National Democratic Congress, NDC political party, and garnered about 58% of the vote. His vice president was Mr. Ko Nkinsin Aka. That day ushered in the Fourth Republic, and since then, Ghana has had a peaceful transfer of power from one political party to the other. Flight Lieutenant Rawling served as president for two consecutive four-year terms, making a total of eight years. January 7th has remained the day of presidential inauguration every four years. If the president in power gets re-elected, he gets sworn in again on January 7th. When President Rawlings took the oath of office in 1993, he served for four years and won re-election in 1996 to be sworn in on January 7th, 1997. In the year 2000, the NDC political party lost power to the new patriotic party and since President Rawlings had served as democratically elected president for eight years, his term was limited and he could not run for office again. So January 7th, 1993 is what ushered in the Fourth Republic, which is still enduring today. And now let us welcome our contestants for another episode of Karimbu. Welcome, 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 welcome once again to Karimbu, the new quiz show in town. I'm here today to tell you all about it. It's a very interesting quiz show and it's with a difference. All the questions that we ask the children who are of JSS age 14 to 18 are on Ghana and Africa. And um, it's a quiz show where we start out with 27 contestants and we put them in groups of three contestants per quiz. So we group the 27 children into nine groups and out of the nine groups we generate nine winners. And these nine winners go into the semi-finals and they are also in groups of three and they, and they also con compete. And from the semi-finals we are able to generate three winners who now go and compete for the finals. Now, Karimbu means reading or learning in Dagbani, and that's what we want to encourage the children of Ghana to do, to be inspired to read more about Ghana and Africa. And I'm happy to say that for this quiz, all the questions were based on, Karimbu questions were all based on these two books, Speaking of Ghana, did you know that? And Speaking of Africa, did you know that? Two books authored by me. There's a whole lot of information in these two books about Ghana and Africa, our simple, recent history, and just some facts about Ghana and Africa. And um, with that, I'm happy now to welcome the three Karimbu kids for today's contest. My name is Selma Alhassan, and we're going to meet our three contestants now. 
welcome, welcome on set. In the red, we have Blessing Sampong. Welcome, Blessing. And in the gold, we have Nanekuya Abwajiwa. Welcome. And in the green, we have Rita Amuzu. These are the three children who are going to compete today for a spot in the semi-final contest of Karimbu. And before we go on to the quiz, I will tell you what the rules are. But before then, let me introduce a young, beautiful girl whom I call Triple A. She's Alicia Alima Al Hassan. She's going to tell us the wonderful prizes that you can win on Karimbu. Everybody is a winner. There's 200 CDs as a token prize for the winner of each preliminary contest and 100 CDs as a consolation prize for runners up. In the final round, the points become money. Each semi final point is worth 10 Ghana CDs, but the winner gets the maximum amount of 1000 Ghana CDs. No matter how many points back, the final contest is where the winner gets a whopping 5000 Ghana CDs and the runners up get 50 Ghana CDs for each point they get. In the semi finals and finals, the more points you win, the more money you get. Everyone who competes in Karimbu is a winner. So welcome back. And now we've already met our three contestants, Blessing, Nanequia and Rita. And we're about to start the quiz. But before then, I have to introduce the rules. I have to tell you what the rules of the game are. Now, with Karimbu, I'm going to ask, first of all, in the first round, I'm going to ask you five true or false questions each. I will ask you five before I move on to the next contestant and ask her five, and then, and then move on to the next contestant. And each question is worth one point, and you have two seconds to answer. After two seconds, if you haven't answered your question yet, you will hear a bell which sounds like this. And then you know that you're belled out. So, you know, it's true and false. Just try to think quickly. All right. Now, um, there are five questions. So you have the opportunity of getting five points. So let's assume that you got all your questions right. You've got five points now. Then we go to the multiple choice questions i will ask you a question but this time i'll not ask you all your questions in a row we shall i will ask you the questions successively and we'll come back in a lap until i've asked each of you five questions now those are multiple choice questions and you have five seconds to answer them i will ask the question and i'll give you four possible answers and you have five seconds to answer after the five seconds you hear a bell which sounds like that and then you'll know that you've been bailed out. I hope none of you gets bailed out. But anyway, those questions are worth five points each. So for five questions, if you get them all right, you get 25 points. You add it to your five points that you got in the true and false round, and that gives you 30 points. Then we come to the third part of the show, which is the map reading or map assistance, where you will take the pointer and you stand beside the map of Ghana first, and I will ask you a question and using the pointer, you will point to the answer. The answer is an entity that can be found on the map. It can be a country, a river, a sea, or, you know, yeah, well, one of those, maybe a town, you know, but you use a pointer and point to the answer at the same time, mentioning it, mentioning the, the, the answer. Don't just point and, and be quiet, but you need to mention it so that we know that you really know the answer, okay? Those questions are worth 10 points each and you have 10 seconds to answer. After 10 seconds, you will once again hear the bell, which sounds, yes, so you'll know that you are belled out. Now, I'm going to ask you two map reading questions and if you get both of them right, that's another 20 points to add to 30 points, giving you a possible 50 points in the first round. Then we go to the second round, which is all about Ga uh, Africa 
and we repeat the same process. The first round is Ghana, the second round is Africa. All right? So now that we've, um, we've heard the rules of the game, Blessing, I'm going to start with you. And here are your first five true or false questions. Blessing, your first question is, Ghana's third republic, Ghana's third republic ended on 24th February 1966, true or false? False. False, fantastic. You are right, it's false. Ghana's third republic ended on 31st December 1981. 24th February 1966 was the end of the First Republic. Now, your second question blessing is, history tells us that the ethnicity of the people of ancient Ghana was Guan. True or false? True. No, that's false. Ancient Ghana, modern Ghana is Guan. Ancient Ghana wasn't Guan. History tells us it was the Soninke people. All right. Now, your third question is, the eastern region is east of the Ashanti region. True or false? True. True. Correct. You got it in the nick of time. Okay. Now we go on to the fourth question. And it's this. Blessing. Despite the huge population, the greater Accra region is the smallest region in Ghana. True or false? True. True. Fantastic. That is correct. And your fifth question is, Kwame Nkrumah became president of Ghana because he led an army to defeat the British army. True or false? True. False. He was elected by the people of Ghana. He didn't lead an army to fight the British. Okay. All right. So, um, blessing. We are done with you for the true or, fa or false round. And now we go on to Nanequia. All right. Nanequia, here are your questions. The first question is, the Danes were the first Europeans to come to the shores of Elmina, true or false? True. No, it was the Portuguese. Now, Nanequia, your next question is, Kasim is spoken mainly in the Volta region, true or false? True. That is false. Kasim is spoken in the Upper East region, okay? And your third question is, when the king of ancient Ghana died, he was succeeded by his first wife. True or false? True. No, that's true. He was succeeded by his nephew, his matrilineal nephew. Okay. Nanequia, your fourth question is, the eastern region lies on the Atlantic shore. True or false? True. I'm sorry, that's false. The eastern region does not lie on any shore. It's, it's an inland region. It's the greater Accra Central Volta. Uh, western western that lie on the Atlantic shore and your fifth question is the president of Ghana in the Second Republic was Professor John Atta Mills true or false true no that's false in the Second Republic it wasn't John Atta Mills John Atta Mills was one of the several presidents in the Fourth Republic in the Second Republic it was Mr. Edward Akufu Adu right okay so now we're going to Rita Amuzu in the green. Rita, um, here are your five questions. Dagari is an indigenous Ghanaian language, true or false? False. It's true. The people of um, Jirapa, Nandom, and you know, places that they speak. Dagari or Dagati. Okay. So that is true. Now, your second question is Ghana's first republic ended on 24th February 1966. True or false? True. True. Right. Okay. Now, your third question is Ketekrachi in the OT region is known for lake navigation. True or false? True. True. Right. Okay. Now, your fourth question is, the Atlantic Ocean is south of Ghana, true or false? True. True, right. And your fifth question is, Boku is in the northern region of Ghana, true or false? True. No, that's false. Boku is in the upper east region of Ghana. Okay. 
All right. So we are done with the true or false part of the show. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back and continue with the multiple choice for Ghana. Welcome back. We are coming now to the second segment of the show, which is the multiple choice on Ghana. But before then, let's see how the quiz is progressing so far. Um, we are still in the very, very early part of the quiz, but so far we have a tie between Blessing and Rita, who have three points each, and Anikwia is yet to get any points. So now we're going to go to the multiple choice questions on Ghana and I'd like to remind you that all the questions all the information can be found in these two books speaking of Ghana did you know that and speaking of Africa did you know that all right now blessing I'm going to ask you a multiple choice question on Ghana okay blessing which of these towns is in the greater Accra region of Ghana Kasua, Buduburam, Nsawam, Botiano. Kasua. Um, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Kasua is actually in the, I think, cent central region. Buduburam is in the central region. Nsawam is in the eastern region. Botiano is the only one in the greater Accra region. There's a lovely beach there, which I hope you visit one day. <laughs> okay, now the um, Nanequia. Which of these towns is in the eastern region of Ghana? And the towns are Ejisu, Konongu, Wenchi, Nkoko. Mm -hmm. No, um, the answer is Nkoko. Konongu is in Ashanti region. And Wenchi is in the Bunu East region. Ejisu is in the Ashanti region. Okay. Okay. Now, um, Rita. Rita, your question is The paramount chief of the Achim is known as Asantehini Kono Ochihini Gamanche. Asantehini. Achim, the paramount chief of the Achim, it's wrong. It's Ochihini. The paramount chief of the Ashanti is known as Asantehini. Okay. Okay. Now we're back to blessing. Okay, your next question is a question on history, and it's this. Ghana used to drive on the left-hand side of the road as it's been done in Botswana, Kenya, Lesotho, South Africa, and many other countries. When did Ghana move from driving to the, from, on the left-hand side of the road to the right? 1966, 1969, 1974, 2001. 2001. No, Ghana started, it's 1974, and as I keep telling you, all the information is in the books, okay? Now, um, Nanekuya, this is your question. Um, the griots, griots, G-R-I-O-T-S, who tell us much of the history of ancient Ghana are farmers and shepherds, acrobats, professional musicians and storytellers, or spirits? Professional musicians and storytellers. Correct, but you need to speak out loudly. She said professional musicians and storytellers. Those are the people who give us much of the oral history of ancient Ghana and all the other empires that flourished in West Africa. Okay, Nanikuya, you got that right. And now we're going to Rita. Okay, Rita, your question is on history. The non-Muslim kings of ancient Ghana showed a great deal of religious tolerance at a time of religious conflict in the world because they forced all the citizens to pray five times a day they built mosques for the Muslim guests and merchants. They declared Fridays as market days, or they gave Muslims very good trade deals. 
why did they show a lot of religious tolerance? They build mocks for uh, the Muslims. Muslims. Very good. You, you all need to speak louder. But she got it right. She said they showed a great deal of tolerance be at a time of religious conflict because they built mosques for the Muslim guests and merchants so they could freely practice their religion. That's good. Okay. Um, blessing. We are back to you. And it's a geography question. It says... Which of these water bodies is located in the eastern region of Ghana? The Ancobra River, Botanga Reservoir, the Red Volta, or Boti Falls? Boti Falls. Boti Falls, fantastic, that's correct. Okay, now we're going to Nanequia. What is the name of the highest mountain in Ghana? Mount Foto, Mount Afaja, Mount Pakesie, or Mount Kwamisa. Mount Afaja. Mount Afaja. Correct. That is correct. You need to speak louder, but it is Mount Afaja. All right. Rita, the paramount chief of the Dagomba is known as Navropio Kono Yana Nayiri. The paramount chief of Dagomba, the Dagomba. What is it? Is Sorry, you were bailed out. The answer is Yana. I gave you four options. The Navropil, the Kono, the Yana, or the Nayiri. The answer is Yana. Okay. Now we're back to Blessing. And Blessing, your question is on ancient Ghana. The kings of ancient Ghana were so rich that they owned all the gold nuggets in the kingdom. The ordinary citizens were allowed only to use Cowries, gold dust, pesos, or cities? Cowries. No, gold dust. Gold dust. Kings used the, uh, had all the gold nuggets, but the ordinary people were only allowed to use gold dust. So it, it shows you how rich they were, that the ordinary people, the ordinary currency was gold dust. Okay? All right. So now we're going to Nanequia, and your question is this. I hope you know the big six. Which of these men was not a member of the big six? William Oforiata, I.K. Achampong, J.B. Dankwa, Edward Akufuado. William Oforiata. No, he was one of the big six. I.K. Achampong, he wasn't one of the big six. He was once a head of state of Ghana, but he wasn't one of the big six. Okay, all right. Now, uh, Rita. Okay, your question is, who was the vice president of Ghana during President Kufuor's term as president? Your options are Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia, Kaur Nkensen Aka, Alhaji Ali Mahama, John Dramani Mahama. Al, uh, John Dramani. Is <laughs> uh, question? No, you've, sorry, you've been bailed out. The question, the, the answer was Alhaji Ali Mahama. He was President Kufo's vice president. Okay, all right. Now back to blessing for your last multiple choice question on Ghana. Which of these festivals is celebrated by the Bulsa people? Abuachri, Fiok, Kundum, Homowo. Fiok. Fiok. She's right. Now we're going to um, Nanequia. Which of these towns is in the western region of Ghana? Walembele, Elembele, Nkuntunsi, and Warianga. Mm. One of them. Nkuntunsi. No, um, it's Elembele. That's in the western region of Ghana. Okay. All right. And now, your Rita, your question is that is this. Which of these towns is in the Ahafu region? Bole, Bamboy, Bechem, Buduburam. Bechem. Yes, you're right. It's Bechem. Bechem, among these four towns, Bechem is the one in the Ahafu region. And with that, we come to the end of the multiple choice round for Ghana. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back for the final map reading for Ghana.
Ruralu at its cantonment. Welcome back and um, we are about now to do the final part of the Ghana part of the quiz which is a map reading but before then let's see how the quiz is going and we have a tie we still have a tie between Blessing and Rita they have 13 points each and Nanequia has 10 points so now we're going to do the map reading for Ghana and I'm going to ask Blessing to take the pointer and come and stand beside the map of Ghana. Blessing. Which of these regions lies along the boundary to Burkina Faso? The northern region, the eastern region, the upper east region, or the northeast region? It lies along the boundary to Burkina Faso. Upper east region, northern region, eastern region, Okay, you were bailed out. But the answer is right there in front of you. It's the Upper East region. Of the options that I gave, it's the Upper East region. The other options I gave you were Eastern region. Obviously not. Eastern region is way down south. The Upper East region is the correct one. The other option is the Northern region, which doesn't share a boundary with Burkina Faso. And um, the Northeast region there also doesn't share a boundary with Burkina Faso. The two regions that share a boundary with Burkina Faso are the Upper East and Upper West regions. And the Upper West region was not one of your options. Your options were Northern, Eastern, Upper East and Northeast. And among those, it is the Upper East region that shares a boundary with Burkina Faso. Okay, so you got that wrong, but we, you have a chance for your next question. So here we go. Hmm. Blessing, what is on the south of the central region of Ghana? Central region of Ghana, south of it. South of it. Your options are the Greater Accra region, the Gulf of Guinea, the Ashanti region, the Bono East region. Atlantic Ocean. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. I, I don't think she can talk louder than that. Okay, thank you, Blessing. So you got one right of the two questions. Now, Nanequia, please take the pointer and stand next to the map of Ghana. Nanequia, immediately west of the western north region is A, Burkina Faso, B, the western region, C, Cote d'Ivoire, D, Togo, west of the western north region. West of the Western North region. West of it. West of it. Okay, you've been bailed out, but it's Cote d'Ivoire. Nanequia, your second question. All right. Which of these regions does not, does not share a land border with Togo? Upper East, Northern region the Savannah region and the Northeast region. One of them does not share a border with Togo. Um, sorry, sorry, Nanequia, you are bailed out. One of them does not share a land border with Togo and that is the Savannah region. As you can see, the Upper East region shares a border with Togo. The Northern region in the green the green shares a border with Togo. The northeast region, the pink, shares a border with Togo. But the Savannah region does not share a border with Togo. It shares a border with Cote d'Ivoire. Okay, all right. Okay, Nanequia. It's now the turn of Rita. Okay, Rita. Okay. Rita, your question is on the Upper West Region. Upper West Region. Which entity is directly south of the Upper West Region? Savannah Region, 
northern region, Togo or Côte d'Ivoire, south of the Upper West region. Savannah region. Correct, Savannah region. Okay, Rita, your next question is... Hmm. Which of these regions of Ghana sits on the Atlantic shore, has a shoreline? The Eastern region, the Ashanti region, the Volta region, the Oti region. Uh, Accra, Greater Accra. Yes, but I didn't mention Greater Accra. I mentioned Eastern Ashanti, Volta and Oti. Volta. Volta, correct. You made it in the nick of time. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, we've come to the end of the Ghana part of the quiz. So we are going to go to the Africa part of the quiz. But um, before then, let's have the beautiful AAA remind us of the prizes that we're going to get in Karimbu. Karimbu, everybody is a winner. There's 200 CDs as a token prize for the winner of each preliminary contest and 100 CDs as a consolation prize for runners up. In the final round, the points become money. Each semi final point is worth 10 Ghana CDs, but the winner gets the maximum amount of 1000 Ghana CDs. No matter how many points back, the final contest is where the winner gets a whopping 5000 Ghana CDs and the runners up gets 50 Ghana CDs for each point they get. In the semi finals and finals, the more points you win, the more money you get. Everyone who competes in Karimbu is a winner. Welcome back. And now before we go to the Africa part of the quiz, let's see how the quiz now stands. We were having a tie but the tie has now been broken. Rita Muzu has shot up to the lead with 33 points and Blessing has 23 points followed by Nanequia who has 10 points. So now we're going to repeat the whole process again but this time all the questions will be on Africa. All right? Okay, so we're going to start off with you Blessing and we're going to ask you your first five true or false questions on Africa. Okay, your first question on Africa is Morocco is in West Africa, true or false? True. False. Morocco is in North Africa. Your second question is Maur Mauritania is in Western Africa, true or false? True. True, that is true. Now your third question is the Western border of namibia is the atlantic ocean true or false false that is true west of namibia you get the atlantic ocean and your fourth question is mauritania is an island true or false 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 it is false mauritania is not an island is on the mainland of western africa and your fifth question is mauritius is an island true or false true, true that is true Mauritius is an island in the Indian Ocean. All right, blessing. Now we're going to Nanequia. All right. And your first question on Africa is, Namibia lies on the Atlantic Ocean. True or false? Hmm. It's true. Namibia lies on the Atlantic Ocean. You know, I advise you to listen to the other person's question. You might get a clue because there was a clue for you in um in her list of questions you know but anyway let's go on the currency in mozambique is the medical true or false false it's true the currency in mozambique is the mozambican medical and your third question is the currency used in niger is the niger kwacha true or false true no that is false is the West African CFA franc. And your fourth question is, the official language in Namibia is English, true or false? False. That is true, in Namibia they speak English. And your fifth question is, Niger's southern neighbors are Burkina Faso, 
Benin and Nigeria. True or false? True. True. That is true. South of Niger are Burkina Faso, Benin, and Nigeria. Okay. Now, Nanequia, we are done with you for the true and false, and we're going to Rita Amuzu. Rita, your first question is, Morocco is in Southern Africa. True or false? False. False. It's in Northern Africa, right? Okay. Now, your second question is, Mozambique is in Southern Africa. True or false? True. True, right. You're absolutely right. Mozambique is in Southern Africa. Your third question, Rita, is, the Namib Desert, which is in Namibia, is in Southern Africa. True or false? False. No, that is true. The Namib Desert is in Southern Africa. It's, Namibia is in Southern Africa. And your fourth question is, the official language in Niger is French. True or false? True. True, that's correct. And your fifth question is, Mauritius is a landlocked country in Central Africa. True or false? False. False. Absolutely, it's false. Mauritius is an island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of East Africa. Well done. Okay, so um, we finished with the true and false and we're going to take another quick break and we'll come back and do the multiple choice on Africa. My name is Selma Al Hassan, and uh, sometimes I get interested in certain facts about Ghana and Africa and about our history. Not necessarily why certain things happened, but just that they happened. Did you know that John Dramani Mahama was the first Ghanaian to have moved from the position of vice president to president successively? John Atamils did not move directly from vice president to president. He lost two elections in 2000 and 2004 before winning in 2008. This is just a little tidbit from a book I wrote called Speaking of Ghana, did you know that? And the book is full of so much information about Ghana, about our personalities and about our recent, interesting, sometimes turbulent, history. It's been approved by NACA as supplementary reading for junior and senior secondary schools. And I have another book called Speaking of Africa. Did you know that? In this book, I take every African country and write a little summary about it. Then I go on and give bullet points concerning things about the country. For example, what their capital is, what their currency is, where they are located geographically on the map of Africa, and a few facts about them. So after reading this book, speaking of Africa, did you know that? You'll know just about everything interesting about Africa. You don't need to know the deep history or geography of any nation, but you know that it exists and you know the kind of people that live there, the Africans that live there. So I have these two books which are on the market and I encourage you to buy. Um, you can find it at Delcom Bookstore, Amazon.com, Booknook, EPP Books and others. And you can call the number on your screen and order the books. Welcome back to Karimbu. We are still in one of the preliminary contests and we've just finished with the true or false round on Africa. And before we go on to the multiple choice Africa round, let me tell you how the quiz is going. Rita Amuzu is now comfortably in the lead with 37 points and Blessing has 26 points and Nanequia has 12 points. So we are starting now with the multiple choice on Africa and once again 
blessing we are coming to you so the first question is blessing um your question is what is the capital of namibia lilongwe kampala kigali or vinduk Windu. correct fantastic that is correct the capital of namibia is winduk okay um second question is to nanequia nanequia what is the capital of niger khartoum nyami mogadishu or timbuktu mogadishu no um the capital of niger is nyami okay all right and now we come to rita amuzu and your question is what currency is used in Morocco? The Moroccan dirham, the Moroccan real, the Moroccan dollar, the Moroccan pound. The Moroccan pound. No, it's the Moroccan dirham. Okay? Dirham. Okay. Now we're back to blessing. And your first question is Blessing. Which European country colonized Mauritania? France, Britain, Italy, or Portugal? France. France. Good. She got that right. It's France. Now the next question goes to Nanequia, and your question is: What is the capital of Mauritius? Mombasa, Kigali, Port Louis, or Mauritius? Mauritius. It's Port Louis. Port Louis is the capital of Mauritius. So you got that wrong. And we go to Rita Amuzu, and your question is. What is the official language in Niger? English, Spanish, Arabic, French. French. French, correct. Rita got it right. It's French. Okay. Blessing. We come back to you. And your question is, what is the currency used in Mauritania? The Ouija, the pound, the dinner, the franc. The Mauritanian dinner. Say it again. Dina. No, that's wrong. It's a Ouija. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Nanequia, what currency is used in Namibia? The Namibian pound, Namibian dollar, Namibian shilling, Namibian dalasi. Namibian dalasi. It's the Namibian dollar. All right. Okay. Now, Rita Amuzu, what currency is used in Mozambique? Mozambique Kwanzaa, Mozambique Medical, Mozambique Kwacha, Mozambique Rand. Mozambique Medical. Medical, right. Um, I don't know if you remember, but it came up earlier in one of the true and false questions. You really need to listen because you could always get a clue from a question that comes before you so we are back to blessing and the question is what is the official language in Mauritania French English Arabic Spanish Arabic. right you're right <laughs> congratulations you're correct it's Arabic now um, Nanequia um, what currency is used in Mauritius Mauritian Mauritian beer Mauritian rupee Mauritian Dina, Mauritian Frank. Mauritian Dina. It's Mauritian Rupee. Rupee. All right. Okay. Now we're going to Rita Amuzu. And your question is What is the capital of Mozambique? And your options are Mozambique, Maputo, Mogadishu, Mombasa. Maputo. Maputo. Right. Well done. And we are back to. Blessing. Blessing. What is the capital of Morocco? Rabat, Cairo, Benghazi, Mogadishu. Rabat. Rabat. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to Nanequia. What is the official language in Mozambique? Portuguese, English, Spanish, French. French. It's Portuguese. Mozambique was colonized by Portugal, fortunate, unfortunately. Like many African countries, we were colonized by European powers and we speak their language as their official language, okay? So in, um, it's Portuguese, all right? 
Okay, now Rita Amuzu, your question is, what is the capital of Mauritania? And your options are Banjul, Nyami, Nwakchot, and Njamina. Nwakchot. Correct, Nwakchot. So Rita Amuzu got it right. And we have now ended the multiple choice round of the Africa quiz. We're going to take another break. And when we come back, we shall have the final round, which is the map reading. Dembra Road at its cantonments. Welcome back. We are still in the preliminary contest of Karimbu and we've come to the almost to the end of this quiz which is a map reading on Africa. Before we do that let's see how the quiz is shaping up and right now Rita is still comfortably in the lead with 57 points, Blessing has 46 points and Nanequia has 12 points and now with that I'm going to invite Blessing to pick up the pointer and stand next to the map of Africa and I'm going to ask her two questions. So Blessing, I'm going to ask you now, what is on Mauritania's western border? Mauritania, west. The uh, Sierra Leone, the Atlantic Ocean, Liberia, or Guinea? Atlantic Ocean. Correct, correct. Now, um, Blessing, your next question is, What countries share a land border with Mauritius? And your options are Mozambique, none of them because Mauritius is an island, South Sudan or Kenya? None of them. None of them. Um, she's right. She um, should have pointed to um, Mauritius, but she, she actually got it right. You know, she was pointing in the right direction. And Mauritius is actually a very tiny island in the sea. So, you know, I think we'll have to give her the point. So you got it right. None of them. Mauritius is an island. Okay. All right. Now, Nanequia, kindly take the pointer and stand by the map of Africa. Nanequia, your question is also on Mauritius. Okay. In which body of water does Mauritius lie? The Red Sea, Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, or the Indian Ocean? Atlantic Ocean. No, it's the Indian Ocean. It's east. Mauritius is an island in the, in the Indian Ocean. So, um, Nanequia, your next question is... Um, your next question is on Namibia, all right? Okay, the question is... What borders Namibia on the west? The Atlantic Ocean, Angola, Botswana, South Africa. Namibia on the west, the west of Namibia. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, Nanequia, you were bailed out. Your eyes should have immediately gone to Namibia, which is in Southern Africa. And once your eyes go to Southern Africa, that big 
orange blot there is Namibia. Then you look to the west of it and you see the Atlantic Ocean. All right. Okay, now we are, it's uh, the turn of Rita Amuzu. So, Rita, <laughs> I hope you're ready and you know your cardinal points. And your question is on Namibia. What borders Namibia on the north? The Atlantic Ocean, Angola, Botswana, South Africa. Angola. Angola, correct. Her eyes immediately went to Namibia and she looked north. All right. Now, your next question is, two countries that border Niger on the north, one of them is Algeria, the other one is Egypt, Libya, Sudan, or Mauritania? Libya. Libya, correct. Well done. Rita Amuzu got her two Africa map reading questions correct. And with that, we come to the end of the quiz, but not an, the entire show. So we're going to now take a short break and we'll come back and I will tell you who the winner is. We have another semi-finalist today and I will announce that after this break. Welcome back. Um, we are now at the end of the show and <laughs> the rewarding part of the show. So the tough part is over. Now is the easy part. Okay. We are going to give out the prizes, but first of all, I'm going to tell you who our latest semi-finalist is. And I will give you the scores now. And today's champion is Rita Amuzu. Once she broke the tie between she and Blessing, she maintained her lead until now. Rita, congratulations, you have an impressive 77 points and you are our next semi-finalist. So you will stand by to take part in the semi-final competition and maybe go on to the finals. Okay, right. Next to Rita Amuzu, we have Blessing with a very impressive 66 points and Nanequia will try harder next, will do better next time she had 12 points so congratulations to all of you and now because of the covid protocol i'm going to put on my face mask and invite you to come near me and get your prizes as the lovely triple a has told us everybody on karimbu is a winner Nobody goes away empty-handed. It's not only the winner that gets a cash prize. So I'm going to invite you now, Nanequia, to come forward and get your prize of 100 Ghana CDs for being a runner-up in this preliminary contest. Well done, Nanequia. I hope you'll compete again, all right? Okay, well done, 100 CDs. Now, um, Blessing. I hope you will compete again. You did pretty well. And here is your prize of 100 CDs. Well done. And now our winner, Rita Amuzu, our semi-finalist. Well done. And you have today's top prize of 200 Ghana CDs and a spot on the semi-finals. Congratulations. Okay, once again, thank you very much for spending your Saturday afternoon with us. We're happy to be with you and we're looking forward to seeing you again next week for another show, for another episode of Karimbu, the new quiz show in town, which is a quiz show with a difference, which is going to inspire our children to read and to learn all about Ghana and Africa. Bye for now. <laughs>